The fashion industry is huge, but what is even bigger is the modeling industry. You may love seeing those gorgeous models walking down the ramp, but then you don't get bored. Many of us are used to seeing the same type of models regardless of how gorgeous they are. What would be refreshing is seeing unusual models, many of whom have taken the fashion industry by storm. From plus-sized women to men who look unique there are both male and female models that you may not have heard of before, but are no less famous than concepts of fashion and beauty. Check out the top 10 most unique and unusual models in the fashion industry. Before we begin make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notification every day for more amazing content. Madeline Stewart Madeline Stewart exudes confidence when she struts down the catwalk, pausing at the perfect moment to slide her hand on her hip, look to the audience and pivot smoothly in high heels. It's a move familiar to anyone who has seen a fashion show, but with Stewart, a professional model at age 23, there is one notable difference, she has Down syndrome. And the Australian native is hoping to shatter stereotypes that models have to be one size fits all, leggy, willowy and disability free. But Ross and Stewart said her daughter is more capable than that today, and Madeline Stewart is thoughtful and focused when asked about making a difference on the runway. After posting a transformation photo on Instagram, she went viral and gained 333k followers overnight. Stewart's career has been noticed not only in the disabled community. Stewart is treated warmly and with respect by designers and other models. Martin Sensmeyer Martin Sensmeyer is an American actor of native Alaskan descent belonging to the Tlingit and Koyuk and Athabascan people. Sensmeyer began work as a professional model before entering into acting. He is one of the stars of the 2016 remake The Magnificent Seven. He doesn't come from a long line of actors, he didn't grow up in Hollywood. Actually his story unfolded 3,000 miles away from Hollywood. Martin was born and raised in Alaska in a tiny fishing village where he knew everyone. Sensmeyer is a member of the Native Wellness Institute, a youth advocacy, and is proud of his Alaska native heritage. He still looks good with that fresh cut, but now Martin looks a little bit plain his beautiful long hair. Also get ready to follow Martin's career as he sets up a platform for his people and his passion for the big screen. Gillian Mercado Gillian Mercado, a model with muscular dystrophy, was cast in a campaign for Beyonce's merchandise the images quickly went viral. But whilst many disability activists praised the images, which featured Mercado posing in her wheelchair alongside two other models, there was also some discussion of whether the campaign was tokenistic. Mercado had been diagnosed with muscular dystrophy at 13, and when she couldn't see people who looked like her in the magazines she had at home, she'd buy others. She still couldn't see herself. Ultimately, she got her start in fashion as an intern while she was at college. She moved from behind the scenes to in front of the camera, modeling for a colleague who cast her in her first campaign. Now Mercado is changing the way we think about conventional ideas of style and exposing a gap in the fashion industry. Gillian Mercado has 160,000 followers on her Instagram. Mercado receives messages on social media from people thanking her. She feels even more inspired to continue to advocate for her community. Gainesis Costello Finding your exact shade of foundation and concealer is difficult enough when you don't have an incurable skin disease that can leave large patches of your skin pigment free or drastically differently pigmented than the rest of your skin. That's basically what vitiligo is, the skin disease seen on these Venezuelan models in this gorgeous photo. Gainesis Castillo posed with another model on her Instagram to show how they share the same skin disease in a way that's rarely seen. She's begun a campaign to showcase her vitiligo in a way that she hopes will inspire others with the disease to feel empowered and special, not ashamed. It's clear that Castillo sees vitiligo as something that makes a person remarkable and unique as the campaign showcases the disease in beautiful ways, proudly and with strength. Alex Minsky Alex Minsky is a retired marine corporal turned into male model. At the beginning of his first tour of Afghanistan in 2009, his Humvee hit a roadside bomb and his right leg was amputated. He spent 47 days in a coma with a traumatic brain injury and 17 months in total in a hospital. After his brother ran from a drug overdose, 
he entered a 23-month period of alcohol abuse, and to get out of it, he turned to physical fitness. It was during one of his routine workouts that he was approached by a fashion photographer named Tom Cullis. However, his career didn't start to take off until he was photographed nearly nude by the Los Angeles photographer Michael Stokes. He says his modeling career is helping him stay that way. Kelly Mittendorf Kelly Lyndon Mittendorf is an American fashion model and PR coordinator. An extravagant appearance was Kelly's pass into the world of fashion. She isn't worried about appearing to be unattractive because she loves bold images. And fashion photographers adore her for this. Mittendorf debuted in the fall 2011 advertising campaigns for Prada and with runway appearances for most notably closing the spring 2012 show. Mittendorf describes herself as an advocate of models' rights. She is currently studying mass communication and media studies at Arizona State University. Mittendorf has been continued featured in magazines and modeling. Cassie Legler Cassie Legler is a French former Olympian swimmer who competed in the 1996 Summer Olympics. Later in life, she became an artist in New York City and was the first woman to be signed on as a male model by Ford. At 6 feet 2 inches with an athletic build, her androgynous looks have landed her gigs advertising men's clothes because, well she looks more like a dude. She explained to Refinery29 that my body is proportioned to a biologically male body and so I was trained to swim like the boys. She explains that the reason she left the sport was because she was asked to leave the women's changing room and change in the handicapped room instead. Later at 35 years old, her photographer friend encouraged her to try male modeling and dressed her in men's clothes. After a couple of years, she has been known as fashion's first female male model. Monica Rilly Model Monica Rilly earns as much as $600 for a photo shoot and is living her dream, almost. Monica is £700 and her ultimate goal is to be £1,000 and immobile. Monica who models on supersized big beautiful woman websites is aiming to become the fattest woman in the world. Her feeder boyfriend, Sid Rilly, spends his days cooking for Monica, rolling her over when her 91 inch stomach is full and funnel feeding her through a tube. And despite their controversial plans, the couple is currently trying for a baby, which Monica intends to raise from her fat bed. Monica had been overweight all of her life and just two years ago she was preparing for bariatric surgery. But at the last minute she pulled out of the op and decided to instead embrace her figure. Monica has gained almost 4 stone by gorging on 8000 calories every day. Irina Pavlutskaya a model and beauty expert has revealed how she managed to transform a woman born with birthmarks over her face just by using makeup. Irina Pavlutskaya, from Russia, was abandoned by her parents as a baby after being born with a rare skin condition. Irina's dramatic transformation, she explained how she wanted to cover up her birthmarks so she could see herself without them at least for a day. Irina is seen looking delighted at her transformation, which was achieved through makeup. The makeup artist also fills in Irina's eyebrows and adds mascara and a smoky eyeshadow to accentuate her eyes. Irina was born with large moles or congenital melanocytic nevi all over her body, which are related to a rare condition called neurocutaneous melanosis. Fans quickly took to Instagram to praise the video, which has been viewer over a million times. Amanda Lopez Amanda Lopez lost her foot and many of her fingers to amniotic band syndrome, a condition where a fetus gets entangled in strands of the amniotic sac prior to birth. It's been a long struggle for Amanda, who has been through her share of hardship, to become the confident woman she is now. Despite the hardships she's endured, Amanda has grown into a relentlessly positive young woman, even though she still faces judgment for her prosthetic leg. Now Amanda's adulthood, which has been a big inspiration to others, including her family. Amanda uses her platform to show off her various outfits and shares her passion for fashion, all the while demonstrating that a disability doesn't have to hold you back. Amanda took to the runway as the first model at one of the company's shows to have a prosthetic, modeling for the crowds, and setting a confident example. Her dream is to become a celebrity stylist, and with all she's accomplished so far, that dream doesn't seem too far from becoming a reality. Dream 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to always be in the top 10 videos world.